as a client, we wanted to have the best students building in the UK, and we put that in our brief. This is our first building for 40 years, and we wanted it to be something special. And we presented the architects with a really difficult site, a triangular site constrained in the middle of London. All the streets in the LSE kind of come in, converge at the, at the point where this building sits. Um, we're trying to resolve this uh, conversation between the activities of the building, the activities of the street and the limits of the site. We're also thinking from the outset about how you would actually experience the building in little glimpses down side streets and you would never see it as a single elevation as you do a more classical building in, in a, a more ge clear geometric setting. So you have to step back to allow the neighbour's light to get into their windows. This gives you a building which automatically has a stepping back form, like classically a New York skyline form. We didn't want that. We wanted a single form building. So what we did is, if you imagine the step backs on the right to light diagram, we joined the top line to the bottom line. And so sometimes the building leans. It leans to get out of the way of the right to light. And where it doesn't have to lean, it can be straight, or indeed it can lean towards the street where it's trying to invite you in. We have 175,000 bricks. Each one of them has a wooden mould. Not every one of them is special. But within our standard specials, which are the ones that get repeated, then we have another kind of special, which we decided to call a special special, which there is only one of each of. And there's 117 of them. And they, each brick is baked and made ready for assembly. And then it all gets put together in an incredibly complex um, piece of craftsmanship. Concrete and steel were two of the key structural elements in the, in the building, each of the floor levels being suspended concrete slabs. And there's a couple of key elements within the superstructure that featured concrete. It's a large cantilever which had limited depth for structure so this was engaged over uh, multiple stories to make that work. Uh, the inclined planes on the, the facade had a concrete wall acting as a deep beam, so a lot of these were, were spanning elements as well. Inside the building there are some architectural elements, the staircases in particular. The way that the stairs works and the way that it provides the geometry of the building gives you different kinds and different shapes and even different levels of light in these social stroke workspaces that people can use in their and that are an important part of the life of being a student in a high-powered university like LSE. We stated up front we wanted it to be Briam outstanding. Now that's one hell of a challenge in an urban context in the middle of London. We wanted this to be a naturally ventilated and naturally lit uh, building. We were trying to make it have that feeling of being very solid on the outside, but that it would be very light and have a sense of daylight and shadow and um, lightness. We came up with the idea that there would be solid planes of brick, but there would also be perforated planes. So sometimes we'd pull the brick apart and light would come through and you could see out slightly and see in slightly. And this was partly to do with wanting a range of um, densities or solidities within the building. It was also to do with the uses. There were things like a prayer centre and a gym, which we felt would like to have daylight, but maybe would not like to have views in. So we were using it like a sort of screen. So we had the idea that the student centre was almost like a kind of cross between a warehouse and a gentleman's club. So we were trying to think, what's the language? What does it feel like? We wanted it to be robust and tough and capable of being used and knocked about by students. So we've got terrazzo floors, we've got English oak floors, we're using sustainable natural hardwood joinery in the windows, obviously the brickwork which you see on the outside and indeed the inside. We've also used a lot of concrete and I'm sort of sat here uh, next to this wall, very tactile, very sort of uh, central material, but it also has a purpose. All of this concrete adds thermal mass to the building and keeps it cool uh, during those uh, sort of hot summer months. You don't pass through doors, you don't have to ask permission, there are no lobbies, there are no corridors. There's just a feeling of continuous, flowing, overlapping space. This project seems to exude creativity in, in both its, its form and, and its use, that the spaces it creates and uh, the aesthetics of it are, are inspirational. Our new building is 
speaking back to the old buildings around it. It's, it's among the crowd. Um, so I don't think you can understand our building unless you're looking at it through the spaces that are offered by the existing buildings. Thank you.